Hi, I'm Dr. Moga, and I'm here to talk to you about safety in the general chemistry lab. It is important to consider a number of precautions and regulations that will keep you safe while you're here in the lab. In order to work in the lab, you are required to read, understand, and follow all safety procedures in your lab manual and lab handouts. Failure to do so will result in removal from the lab. There is a safety section in your manual that outlines all of these procedures. Students who are pregnant or have medical conditions that cause a sudden loss of consciousness, including pregnancy, high blood pressure, epilepsy, and diabetes, should consider if they are capable of safely working in the lab. These students should consult with a physician and receive permission from them and are encouraged to inform the TA of their decision. Proper clothing is required to work in the laboratory. Shorts, skirts that hit above the ankle, spandex, leggings, jeggings, and other thin, skin-tight materials are not appropriate to wear in the lab. It is required that all students wear long pants or skirts that go all the way to the ankle while working in the lab. Long pants with holes are not acceptable lab attire. Absolutely no sandals or open-toed shoes are permitted in the laboratory. The top of your foot must be covered in case of spills or flying glass. Students not wearing the proper lab attire will not be permitted to enter the lab, and no extra time will be given to make up any missed experiments. If proper lab attire is found after a student is sent home, they may return to the lab during their regularly scheduled period and continue, but time outside of this window will not be given. You are required by law to wear ANSI-approved goggles at all times while in the chemistry laboratory. Violation of this rule can result in severe consequences. Put your goggles on before you enter the lab and do not remove your goggles until you leave the laboratory. If you are having trouble seeing through your goggles due to fogging, wipes are available at the front of the lab room and on the lab supply cart in the hallway. You must step outside into the hallway to use these wipes. Phones should be stowed away during lab. You will be working with several hazardous substances this semester, and you don't want to accidentally contaminate your phone and bring those chemicals home with you. Additionally, headphones or earbuds should never be worn in the lab. This makes it difficult to hear safety information. The laboratory is equipped with several safety features to protect you and others from hazardous situations. All lab work should be done at your lab bench, within the metal fume hood. This is very important when an experiment involves hazardous or poisonous vapors. Also keep waste speakers in the back of the hood. Some experiments use the large fume hoods on the side of the lab room. These hoods are used for storage of concentrated acids and bases, as well as for hazardous waste disposal. Your TA and the lab manual will inform you of the proper disposal method for each experiment. There will be waste disposal sheets for you to document the proper disposal of all hazardous waste. Never use any chipped or broken glassware for any experiment. Broken glassware should be cleaned up immediately and ask your TA for assistance. There is a broom and dustpan available in the lab. Broken locker items should be disposed of in the broken glassware bucket that's located at the front of the room. Disposable glassware, such as the 4 and 25 milliliter test tubes, droppers, disposable pipettes, and glass vials should be discarded in the disposable glass waste bucket, regardless of whether or not they are cracked or broken. The tap for distilled water is located between the two side hoods. Gloves are provided between the waste hoods. Always treat your gloves as contaminated. Never touch anything you wouldn't want to contaminate. This would include your skin, clothes, cell phone, and your neighbor. Never wear gloves in the hall or open the door with a gloved hand. While working in this lab, you will be using chemicals. It is important to read and understand the hazards these chemicals pose. For any chemical spills that occur in the laboratory, contact your TA for assistance. There is a spill kit at the front of each lab. All spills must be properly cleaned up to ensure the safety of yourself and others. If the spill affects your clothing or skin, use the appropriate sink, hose, or shower to flush the area with water. Most accidents in lab are similar to what might happen at home. 
Treatments of cuts and burns require the same common sense approach. Small cuts and burns should be rinsed with water. Band-aids are available at the window. Deep or large cuts, more extensive thermal and chemical burns may require medical attention, which should be discussed with your TA. You or another student would be sent to the window to call for help. Small beaker fires may be extinguished by smothering the flame using a watch glass. For larger fires, fire extinguishers are available at the front of the lab. Contact your TA for use of the fire extinguisher. If a fire alarm goes off, everyone will need to exit Celeste. Make sure all chemicals are safely in the mini hoods and equipment is turned off. Exit the labs efficiently at the direction of your TA. The map shown here will highlight the exit plan for the lab room. Should your clothing catch on fire, remember to stop, drop, and roll to extinguish the flames. Stop what you are doing, drop to the floor, and roll to extinguish the flames. After the fire is out, cool the burned areas with water until professional help arrives. Burns may occur when very hot objects are picked up when they don't look or appear to be hot. Chemicals that are hazardous must be properly disposed of. If a corrosive chemical is ever spilled on your skin or clothing, large amounts of water should be applied immediately and for a minimum of 15 minutes. Small spills on the arms or hands can be rinsed using the sink. Flexible hoses are available at the center of each row of benches. Always notify your TA of any spill or cut. For larger spills, there is a safety shower at the front of the lab room. The shower handle should be down at all times and the shower area accessible. Should you require the shower, remove affected clothing and pull the handle to use the shower. Modesty is not a concern when your skin is in danger. Flexible hoses are available in the men's bathrooms for large spills on the lower body. Should chemicals come in contact with your eyes, there are eye wash stations at the front of the laboratory. For any serious accident, your TA will immediately send someone to the window so 911 can be called. After you have read the safety statement and watched this video, you are required to electronically sign a copy of the safety statement, indicating that you have read, understood, and will follow all safety precautions in the lab manual. Always remember to wear your goggles in the chemistry laboratory, because you never can tell what just might happen.